India's attempt to make one giant leap ended at the final step of its unmanned mission to the moon. The Vikram lunar lander lost contact with controllers in India just two kilometers above the moon's surface. The disappointment of the mission controllers in Bengaluru was obvious. Scientists working for India's space research organization will have to wait longer in their search for water on the moon. Vikram lander descent was as planned and normal performance was observed up to an altitude of 2.1 km. Subsequently, the communications from the lander to ground station was lost. Millions all over India were glued to TV screens, waiting for the Indian flag to be unfurled at the south pole of the moon. No one has ever explored there. I think it's a stepping stone. You can't expect every new experiment and mission to always be perfect, right? But we've learned so much from it and we can analyze what went wrong and make sure it doesn't happen again. The 20-day Chandrayaan-2 mission cost $140 million. Despite the failure to dash the hopes of the nation, further missions are already planned. The Indian Prime Minister's words were reassuring. We will look back at this journey and effort with great satisfaction. The learning from today will make us stronger and better. There will be a new dawn and a brighter tomorrow very soon. India's mission to the moon may have failed in the final moments, but while the lunar lander has been lost, officials expect to receive crucial images from the orbiter. And even though there is disappointment just now, the government says there will be a next time. After the US, the Soviet Union and China, India would have been only the fourth nation to successfully land on the moon had its mission ended in success rather than disappointment. Ashur Vora, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.